You've heard of Catapult in the Kitchen? Well, this is the new series, Catapult with a Kettle. Everyone, I'm assuming most people boil a kettle at least a few times a day. That's three or four minutes that you could fit in a micro practice. I have three micro practices to share with you. My absolute favourite, I'll probably say this about all three because I love all of them, but my absolute favourite is the shaking. While the kettle is boiling, you just stand in the most relaxed position possible. The whole essence of this is to do no harm. You want to release tension, you want to wake up that microbiome by shaking the psoas, the iliac psoas muscle that passes through your pelvis. It's stabilizing your upper body and it's propelling you into the floor, it's bouncing you off the floor. Those supporting, those stabilizing muscles pass through the pelvis and come into contact with your large intestines. So if this shaking, and it can be quite vigorous, is literally waking up and getting everything moving. We're not just going to do a simple tea with the kettle today, we're going to do a bulletproof coffee, a keto coffee, a high fat coffee. I talk a lot about this with friends and family and people interested in improving their health. Becoming metabolically flexible is probably the best thing you can do to improve your health. And that means the ability to digest fats, carbohydrates and proteins um, and not be fixated on one or not being fixated on all three at the same time and creating a metabolic traffic jam. Probably too many details at this time in the morning, but the keto coffee is to help you get into ketosis. When you're burning keto ketones, which is an alternative fuel source to glucose, in my um, estimations, a uh, preferred fuel source to glucose. The brain absolutely loves it. The best way to go into ketosis is to fast. It's the cheapest, most effective way to go into ketosis. But you have to be reasonably healthy to be able to fast and thoroughly enjoy it rather than fast and go into a slight kind of detox. Anyway, way too much information. We do the bulletproof coffee. All you need for that is coffee, um, butter, and coconut oil. The adaptive version is to push the coconut oil to one side and use uh, MCT. So this is just uh, an extracted short chain, the shorter chain is the C8, the carbon 8 chains, so it's a shorter chain, so it's actually a shorter journey in the body to get converted to ketones, so you use the coffee, we're in the kettle, still shaking, still keep shaking, what else do you do when you're boiling a kettle? Scroll. So nowadays when you boil a kettle I need to be doing one of these three micro practices I'm going to be teaching over the next few days in the with a kettle series. The kettle's nearly boiled, so I'm still maintaining my shake. I get my coffee. This is just great work for the legs, for the really strong muscle. And this is a really great exercise because I'm like push-ups where you can easily do damage to these much more intricate muscles. These big muscles, they take a real amount of energy, a real amount of pressure. So just keep bouncing and you're gonna end up with really strong muscles. So put the coffee in here, let the kettle come off the boil so it's not super boiling. While the kettle is just settling down, just use a pan just to create some heat. We're going to melt the butter. Obviously the hot coffee will melt the butter, but it will also take heat out of the equation. So, I use two scoops, two small scoops of a tablespoon of butter. You can even get a little bit more in there. Obviously if you're starting out, less is more. You want to find your balance. I've done this for some time. So a little bit more butter in there. Butter obviously acts as the cream or the creamer and makes it really delicious. The C8 MCT oil is what is get turned, it gets transformed into ketones in the quickest fashion. So you use one spoonful of that. Right. We're going to have another little uh, opportunity for a shake just while the coffee is brewing. Eye that, get that ready to go. While that's all melting down, just carry on shaking. So you want to be as relaxed as possible. You can put energy into the balls of your feet, which I find gives me much more of a spring. I can even feel it up in my armpits and then in the heels, which obviously is a lot more strong a lot more sinking energy, but just keep that bounce. I can just feel my thighs 
start to burn. So I haven't really used much energy, much effort, but I'm starting to feel warmer and more awake. So it's just a really easy exercise to do first thing in the morning. And remember, have your attention, have your awareness on this part of your body. You want this to be the bit that's being balanced. Just relax everything else in the body. So today we've also got some collagen. This is absolutely optional. Um, the butter isn't really optional. You can do a vegan option with coconut butter. It just doesn't get that creaminess. Um, but it still has the same pathways. You're not having any carbs or any protein. So you're not starting that digestive pathway. You're just having fats. So you're not releasing any insulin. Doing it with butter makes it creamy. If you're vegan, you use the coconut. It won't make it so creamy, but you'll still have that same effect. So the coffee will obviously be very stimulating, um, and then the ketones will be created by using the coconut oil. But we're not doing the vegan option today, so I'm just going to use a scoop of collagen once I put the coffee in to be blended. Move that aside. Please post any questions, any concerns below, and I'll try and answer them. And it's time I'm on social media. Getting a little bit impatient, come on. Here you go, Let's turn up the heat on the stove a little bit just to melt that butter. Just keep that shape, just keep nice and relaxed. It will release any holding in the body. Doing the shaking, you're really utilizing your core stabilizing muscles. And when they're shaking, they're taking hold of the shake. Your fast twitch muscles, any injuries from doing the burpees that I'm doing recently in the bum, oh, just starts to relax. I can kind of feel the energy, the tension, the holding just coming out of the body. After a session of burpees, I can really feel it. You know, the day after, especially a vigorous shaking session, and it's almost like that holding, that tension, that muscle ache is nearly always at least halved. And you walk away with much more mobility, the joints. Uh, feel much looser. Okay, so the butter has come up to temperature, so all you need to do is then plunge your coffee. Lovely job. At this point, I'll add a scoop of collagen. A bit. You can add an egg yolk to this blend, that actually works incredibly well. And then you can stop the shaking now if you so desire. I kind of have that residue, that residue rather, in my body. And I quite like it. <coughs> Keep that springiness happening for as long as possible while I'm making the coffee. Just a basic hand blender. super high fat keto coffee that generally sees me through easily till lunchtime. My body just loves it. My body loves it so much. I thoroughly enjoy having it and then I find it really hard not to have the next day. It's quite a decadent thing. Two spoonfuls of butter, spoonful of coconut oil. So it's not something that I recommend people become completely fixed on. I did for a couple of years. Um, because we're trying to utilize metabolic flexibility, some days I recommend just pure fasting, just a black coffee, just a black tea, no protein, no carbohydrates, and also no fats. And that really just rests and restores the body. Other days I will recommend having breakfast. Um, we're looking for flexibility. We're not looking for like finding one thing that works and that's the only thing that then works for the individual. We want to be as flexible as possible with the foods we eat. It's going to be pretty piping hot, so Mm. Super hot, but I thoroughly enjoy it. I feel in my body satiated, like I say, till lunchtime, and I will definitely be in ketosis. I've now fasted since dinner last night. 
with the kids, probably around seven. It's now seven, so that's 12 hours. And then have a keto coffee and then won't eat for another five hours till about 12 o'clock. Uh, so you're not pure fasting when you're having the fat, obviously, but you're fasting mimicking because you're not releasing insulin to process the carbs and the proteins. Um, your body is in a much more rested state than having a heavy breakfast. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, folks.